So in my jewel mine collection I have a mixture of highs and I have a mixture of mids. And just in the display wall behind me I have OG Breads, uh, UNC's, Hyper Royals, Mochas and more recently Amomani A1s. But today's Jordan one is the craziest I've ever seen and it comes with a fanny pack. So let's check it out. Hey what's going on Let's get back with another video. And today I'm checking out the Air Jordan 1 Utility also known as the Stash release. Thanks for checking out the video. If you're new to the channel and you like all kinds of content related to sneaker culture, please do consider subscribing and also hit the notification bell to be notified when I do drop new videos. And if you liked today's video, please give it a thumbs up as it really helps the channel grow. Now today I'm checking out an interesting take on the classic Jordan 1 silhouette with a kind of utilitarian style, which also features some interesting details, including a fanny pack. And that is the Air Jordan 1 Utility, also known as the Stash release. So this dropped last month on sneakers for a price of £159.95 here in the UK or $175 in the US. And for me it was a fairly easy cop. I don't think many people were looking at this sneaker, especially in the EU. Uh, so I was able to grab my size and uh, got it in hand. And it's definitely out there. It's definitely different to regular Jordan 1s. And it has a kind of like military utilitarian style to it. So although it did sell out, it's definitely an interesting piece to add to the collection. So let's check out the details. So I'll start with the box. So because this is a new take on the Jordan 1 silhouette and uh, Jordan Brown wants to kind of hype up the sneaker, they've given a special packaging. So you have a special box and you have your classic kind of Jordan 1 hits on the box so you've got your Nike text and obviously your swoosh here but obviously it's got some faded bits to kind of talk about the rugged nature of the sneaker and then if we turn to the side you've got AJ1 high OG then the Jordan Wings logo kind of faded and it has a utility and then 0001 underneath that you've got Air Jordan 1 utility so very similar to what you see in a classic Jordan 1 box but obviously added the utility element as well and then on this side you've just got the same faded Nike logo and the swoosh and the same on that side let's take a look at size tag it's the Air Jordan 1 Utility SP the colorway is black off noir anthracite sale and it's my true size of UK 13 US 14 so we'll take the lid off and you just have a black swoosh at the top of the box nothing else inside you then have this card which says, same as on the box, um, AJ1 High OG, and then obviously the Wings logo and the utility 0001. You also have on this side what you can do with the sneakers and kind of put them in the bag along with the uh, stash pockets. You then get a dust bag, so it's kind of quite interesting. So it's made out of kind of nylon similar material to the sneaker itself and you just have it's like a tote bag and you just kind of you obviously can put your sneakers in there and carry them with you um, if you wish so that's certainly quite interesting and not something you get with every sneaker then inside this you've then got more tissue you've got, then got special tissue paper so this is uh, just saying so you have AJ1 high type utility Air 203 MJJ, CLP Proj, Flight TM, MJ4 Design, FTWR, and then you have that same logo that you see on the card. You peel this back, and here you have the sneaker. So it's the Air Jordan 1 Utility SP, also known as the Stash release. So here's the, here you have the sneaker. 
So turn the side and then back. So it's definitely different to your standard uh, Jordan 1 uh, sneaker. So, and obviously we'll go through the details. So starting on the outsole, just standard um, Air Jordan 1 outsole. So nothing really different about that. It's not even that rugged, to be honest. If we compare it to, say, the Hyper Royals, it's pretty much exactly the same. So it's quite interesting how there's not much differences in terms of the, the ruggedness of that outsole. Let me turn to the side and you've got your classic uh, midsole. So you've got obviously the sail right here, as you can see. And as we go up the upper, it's an all nylon upper com completely throughout the sneaker. So that's a lot different to what you'll get on other Air Jordans because obviously they're more like tunnel leather or leather or even suede, um, but this is all fully nylon throughout the sneaker. And the reasoning behind this is kind of because this sneaker is more for wearing outdoors in kind of harsh weather conditions, so it's more durable. It's not Gore-Tex, but it's certainly, you know, it's certainly hard wearing, so you definitely could wear it in a kind of more outdoor pursuits. So that's kind of what Jordan Brown is going here. It's kind of a military kind of feel is what they're going for with this sneaker, so definitely um, an interesting touch. We turn to the front, so, you see on the mud guard, you've got this anthracite off in a while situation going on here. This is still nylon when you feel up to the touch, so that's quite interesting. And obviously in the toe box, so you've also got your perforated holes, but they're not actually holes as such, but it's just more for design. And then obviously as we go up the upper, so again, it's, it's a nylon upper, and uh, one difference is that you have these kind of metal eyelets going up the upper for the laces, as you can see right here. So kind of different to what you get with... Uh, other Jordan ones, which will just normally have the eyelets coming through the leather, so that's quite different. But here you have these like metal eyelets. As we come up to the tongue, so the top of the tongue is pretty much where you get standard Jordan. So you've got in this case Nike Air um, in that gold writing. We then come back to the side. You've got the first element of the stash, shall we say. So you have these three different pockets where you could essentially stash something, maybe like keys, money, etc. So obviously we, we, this one's on the side, um, it's kind of, you've got the, the swoosh, black swoosh painted on, it's just a kind of pop up and then you've got a little pocket inside there, uh, you've just got a bit of foam right now obviously to keep the shape, so but a little stash pocket there, so that's quite interesting. You've also got, just to open the pocket, you've got this orange tab on the side here and that uh, is uh, just kind of a little bit of additional colour. Underneath this you've got two holes with these two metal eyelets as well. Uh, again, probably more for design than anything. And then if we turn to the medial side, you have the same kind of setup. Again, you've got the swoosh on this nylon pocket piece here. And then again, this pops up. And again, another place where you could um, stash something in there if you wanted. And then if we turn to the back, the main feature of the sneaker is this kind of fanny pack, I guess. Uh, which obviously features a zip, uh, a metal zip, no, no other branding on the zip, but you do get on the back the AJ1 High OG Utility 001 detailing that you see on the box and also on that card that came with the box, so that's um, interesting touch. Again, this is all nylon that you, that you have here, and then again you have the zip, and you can then just open it up as you can see right there, so that's quite interesting. This does actually detach, so if you wanted to, you could take this off. So you do have the option of detaching that. Most people probably wouldn't wear the sneaker with this fanny pack, to be honest. Um, but it is an interesting detail. And just on the back of the back of the fanny pack, you've got this these two additional um, metal holes right here, as you can see. On each side of the fanny pack, you've got these metal clips. Uh, so obviously, then which then clip into the the uh, orange tab right here as you can see so it's kind of a little hole that you can obviously insert that into so again interesting detail uh, and then to complete the sneaker inside you've got just kind of a meshy breathable material for the sock liner so again that's quite interesting and then you just have a detail of Nike Air in black text on the red uh, insole so again just add an additional bit of colour. One of the detail at the top of the ankle is you've got the Jordan Wings logo uh, that you'll see in most Jordan ones in this uh, black. It's not embroidered, it's kind of, it feels almost like it's screen printed. So that's uh, just uh, an additional detail. This is the right sneaker, quickly check out the left. So the left sneaker is pretty much exactly the same in terms of the 
stash pockets. So you've got obviously that one here, the main fanny pack at the back, and this one on this side. The other difference is on the tongue. So you have the details that you see on the tissue paper inside the box. Uh, so I'm not entirely sure what all that text, what all that means, but it's effectively kind of code names to do with the Jordan brand. Uh, to kind of give it that kind of military style way, obviously you, you're speaking a lot in code. So again, that's quite an interesting detail that you have here. And then just on the side, you have this uh, piece of card, uh, which obviously has the Jordan Wings logo here. And then inside, it talks about the different elements of the sneaker. So obviously you've got your stash pockets, and then you've got your removable heel stash. Yeah, so there you go. And then obviously on this side, you just have the Nike logo and the swoosh. So what do you think of the sneaker? Did you, did you cop? Did you pass? Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below. For me, you know, it's an interesting take on the Jordan 1 silhouette. It's a little bit gimmicky, but I think it's still definitely something I'm going to keep. And uh, most likely would remove the fanny pack at the back, but then certainly could wear it on the side with these other stash pockets. The likelihood of you actually wanting to stash stuff in these pockets is quite, really quite limited, because most likely you're going to be wearing it with jeans anyway, or maybe some shorts in that pocket so there's a, but you're never going to get like a phone in there you're not going to get anything of any substantial size in there maybe like some money some keys but other than that you know you're going to use the standard pockets anyway jordan brown's trying something different so you can't knock them for that and uh, as i said it did sell out so there's definitely a lot of interest in this sneaker in terms of sizing i'm a true to size and that fits fine for all Jordan 1s. Again, you have a wide toe box here. I have a wide foot, so you may want to go down half a size. You have a narrow foot, but for me, true to size is fine. In terms of resale, so last sale was £175. This retail for £159.95 or 160 So after fees and shipping, you most probably won't be making much profit, to be honest. But what it does mean is if you were interested in this, you could pick it up for a decent price on the secondary market. So stay tuned for your foot to come up shortly. And again, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching the video. If it's the kind of content you want to see, please do consider subscribing and also hit the notification bell to be notified when I do drop those new videos. And if you liked today's video, please give it a thumbs up as it will help the channel grow. And until next time, take it easy. I'll see you in this video.